Sonsi. Got collected only a couple of moments ago. Took a long time to get up. Short ball and he finds McIntosh. Slow boot up from the Tigers. See the difference. Brisbane would rush Shot it was just over the top. Well done by Pickett. It was actually oh. Graham who led up and allowed the space to come in. Edwards is 55 out. It was smart. Zorko was defending the two of them. They separated. And just a little chip inside forward 50. And Graham made his way. And he gets the reward for doing the team thing, Graham. And if you're Fagan, you cut this ahead and you go, here's the Tigers playing our games, what we lack to do in the first, most of the second half. Been a big time, big time player. Just beyond him, is it, Brownie? I think you'll give it a good roost, Ross. Right on. I like him on the run. 16-4, set got a, shots. Got to kick a good 55 to 60 metres. This would be massive. Probably the biggest kick of your career. 55 out. Big kick. Massive kick. Hits oh, the host. host. And the Tigers are back in front with a minute 20 to go. 98 plays 97. You want to call it Brownie or are you happy to pass it over? <laughs> Here goes Brisbane Lions from the kick in. Answorth goes straight down the guts. Joey Danaher's got to run and jump. Couldn't take the mark. Rainer ducked his head. No free kick. I'll give it back to you, Brownie, to call in a minute. A minute nine on the clock. Still plenty of time, Joe. Tigers lead by a point. <laughs> I've timed this one. <laughs> <laughs> Ball up in the middle of the ground. Ned Curvis wins it himself. Handballs to Jack Graham. He goes inside 50. Kicks being marked. Darcy Gardner. 57 seconds to go. He's coughed it up. Cotchin pops it over the top to Lynch. And he's going to take all 30 seconds. <laughs> And the Tigers are probably going to win this. What about Darcy Gardner's day? <laughs> what about that? <laughs> is that an outcome of them not knowing exactly what's on the clock? Uh, is it fair on the athlete? I don't think it's fair on the athlete. I think we should have a countdown clock. Panic. He panicked. He didn't oh, he know how long to panicked. go. He panicked. And he panicked on, we need the score. I don't know how long it is. He put the bed. He muffed it. <laughs> Tom Lynch. If he kicks this at seven points and it's all over. What a big second half he's had. The crowd will tell the story. <laughs> Tigers are home. Finally, the luck is going to go their way. And they'll keep their finals aspirations alive in season 2022. And they've done it the hard way from 42 points down. Tom Lynch has kicked four in the second half. Great call, Joey. And you know what? You, that's two good calls in two weeks. Well done. <laughs> Lynch has been huge. I love the, the line. And we the haven't crowd, come over the, the top. The crowd will tell the story. I love that line. It was brilliant. We've taken our feedback. We sat yeah, back. Yeah, we did. Let the guys do their work. <laughs> but we did call this. Although Brownie did call a really good point again. <laughs> Going to cut the great points the last couple. Ash, what's this do to the live ladder if the Tigers hold on here? Tigers will only be two points outside the eight brownie behind St Kilda. This is massive. 42 points down for the Tigers. And they're now seven points up. Lockie Neal in the middle of the ground. We're down to seven seconds. So the Tigers, this will be one of their most famous wins outside grand finals. Bouncing ball to half forward. The Lions are in forward 50. But what a massive win that is for the Tigers. Lynch with four in the second half. Cumberland kicked five, and they were impressionable, and they win by seven points.